So to start with and make it perfectly clear, uh, I am not a football fan. Ken will attest to that. But um, I guess I didn't realize until after the Super Bowl that Tom Brady was Christian. Anyway, I happened to run across um, an article, I think, in Forbes magazine that was um, saying this is what Tom Brady eats. And because Ken had mentioned how, you know, what great shape he was for his age and stuff. So I looked at it, and um, this was his wife talking, who's a model, former model. And she said basically he eats an anti inflammatory diet. And, and so and that's kind of where Ken and I have been headed the last few years, too. It's basically, you know, 80% vegetables, 20% grass fed um, protein. Etc. No dairy, no caffeine, no gluten, you know, brown rice, quinoa. Anyway, real clean diet. Um, but the interesting thing about that was the Lord kind of spoke in the back, you know, kind of in your back, back of your ear there. And I heard, yeah, um, it would be really good if my people stopped um, eating inflammatory spiritual food too. And I went, hmm. So I would just like to encourage you to watch what you're eating spiritually. And that means what are you looking at? What are you reading? What are you uh, looking at as far as media goes? Because if it's causing inflammation in your spirit, um, it is going to cause probably inflammation in your body too. But it, we need to be filling our eyes, our ears, our spirits with um, his spirit and things that are going to edify and build us up so that in this time of transition, flux, whatever you want to call it, we actually have something substantial to give people that are going to build them up, spirit, soul, and body, and not inflame them.